Welcome back. That was the first period of what has been a game, Alex. That's right, Ronnie, and what I gotta say, the Canadians game. really showed up tonight. They certainly have, Alex, and what needs to happen now is if they want to win, they need to score more goals. Let's take a look at the <laughs> scoreboard. Yeah, I gotta say, scoring another goal would give them an advantage. Scoring a goal in the second period could they, potentially be a game changer. What I will say, Ronnie, is here. that both teams are really <laughs> moving out there. You have to move when you're out there. Any player could tell you that. And, and what's skate. more, you gotta take it minute by minute. That's right. Ronnie, taking it minute by minute is really the only way to go out there, but I will say that sometimes it comes down to who wants it more, Ronnie. A hundred percent. You can really see that both teams really do want it tonight. A hundred percent. They're both giving a hundred and ten percent out there. A hundred percent. That's a hundred percent, a hundred and ten percent, Alex. A hundred percent. And listen, when you break it down, each team gets 20 minutes per period. They gotta make the most of it. Both teams have come to play. That's hockey, Ronnie. That's the sport. And I will say, if we could just They've take a come look at this play. moment right here. You take a look at that, Ronnie. What would you say about it was that? That NHL was certainly a 24. hit, Alex. That was a hit, Ronnie. Hockey can be a physical game. That's right, <laughs> Alex. But this isn't anyone's first rodeo. Certainly not, Ronnie. Like they're cry. getting everything they can out there to try to put the puck in the net. Well said. If you take a look at both teams here tonight, they've both been taking this season one game at a time. That's what you gotta do, Ronnie. This is the National Hockey League. What each team needs to do is play <laughs> as a team, and only time will tell who can do that better. Both teams will need to stay focused <laughs> and step up tell. their game. There's no I in team, as they say. Oh, it's geez. about who executes better. They've got to dig deep. <laughs> this is what it's all about. They need to play to not lose. They need to stay focused. 110%. 100%. Now let's go ringside to Michael, who's with one of the players. I'm here with hockey player from Hockey Game. How would you say Hockey Game go? We're out there playing a hockey game. Hockey Game go. There you have it. Well said. 100%. <laughs> Uh, that's, I mean, sometimes it's how it goes. Sometimes. It's funny when you watch that sometimes because it, there are moments where the announcers will say stuff. One, that's like very innuendo specific, which is always weird, especially in football. Uh, <laughs> but here he doesn't go there really, which I thought he would. That, that would have been funny. Uh, but what he does here is still fun. Like they're just not adding anything to announcing the game or doing the play by play. And sometimes that happens, but, uh, but still funny. There was something I was trying to find too earlier within this part, and I couldn't find it because there was a moment where during the analysis, pregame, halftime, and postgame analysis on CBS for the Super Bowl that just happened, uh, it, it, there's two guys on there that look exactly the same. So there was literally a Ryan – I was having a Ryan George moment of seeing two of the same person on this panel, on either end of the panel. It's not the same guy, I know that, but like they look ex almost identical. And <laughs> I saw, I was like, why, why are they, why are they the same guy on both sides of here? They're, they're talking about different things to a degree, but it's like they look exactly the same. I can't find the footage though. If I find it, I'll put it in like a, a post or something on the community tab. But uh, yeah, I thought it was funny. Still, overall, it was it was an okay game. The trailers this year and the commercials were horrible this year, uh, <laughs> which I thought was kind of odd. There's maybe two commercials that were okay. The trailers overall were not that great. Deadpool and Wolverine, very cool, but it's a tease. We didn't even really see Wolverine uh, or Logan or anything front-facing. And other things we'd already seen, like Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, A Quiet Place Day 1. We got Wicked, which that was kind of cool, but like it, it looked kind of like Oz the Great and Powerful to me. Like It didn't look any different, except you have Cynthia Erivo as you know the Wicked Witch. It was just, eh, I don't know. And I've never watched the original, like, you know, the play, the the Broadway play. So I, I'm, I'm kind of disconnected. But I'll watch some of the trailers overall uh, again, do like a little deep dive on the Mike Vaughn channel. If you want to check those out, those will be up probably this week. I'm not going to do those here. But uh, if you want to check it out there, you can watch that over there. Subscribe. Overall, funny from Ryan George, though. Like, it's, it's, it's cool to see him do the the play by play here in such a normal way <laughs> it was similar to almost to the one with the dogs was it the dogs had podcast like if dogs had podcast 100 percent, 100 percent, 100 percent, 110 percent. it felt very similar to that so that was kind of funny but your thoughts comments below let me know your favorite part from this what made you laugh the most hopefully you enjoyed this watching this with me laughing with me hopefully you're having a good day uh and as always i will see you guys on the next video take care